Hi guys, this is Nathan Chantra. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create assets and specs for iOS and Android for all device resolutions. It's been a while I've been working on uh, mobile app design uh, and uh, assets uh, and creating assets and uh, specs uh, in mobile is a bit of tedious task uh, if, if you're doing it manually. Uh, I'll be showcasing you how to create this uh, assets and specs uh, in the easiest way for multiple resolutions. Uh, so let's get started. Like uh, I'll be using PNG Express. Oops. I'll be using PNG Express uh, uh, for uh, creating the assets and specs. Uh, PNG Express is a is a is a plugin for uh, Photoshop, uh, which uh, which helps to create uh, assets and specs in the easiest way for multiple resolutions, and it uh, comes for Mac and Windows. And it works with uh, Photoshop CS5 to CS, uh, CC 2015. So it has a, a, quite a good features where uh, you can uh, you can export PNG, uh, you, you can export assets in a PNG or JPEG, or uh, you can export uh, export using SVG, which uh, which helps in uh, which helps in Android and uh, web also. And uh, you can create specs uh, in the easiest way. Uh, uh, you, sometimes you can export uh, the JSON and HTML part of it also. So let's get started. How to um, how to how to make use of this PNG Express and uh, create assets and specs. So first and foremost thing, I will be uh, opening a PSD file where um, I have a mobile app design of navigation. So uh, before starting that, you can uh, you can you have you can have a look at iOS design guidelines. Um, you should be aware of uh, aware of uh, the uh, guidelines like what is the what kind of resolutions need to be provided for which kind of uh, uh, devices like uh, uh, iPhone 4 is having a kind of 640 to 960 and iPhone 6 Plus is having 1080 into 920 1920. And what are the terminologies we'll be using for that one for assets like uh, uh, for iPhone 6 we will call the asset creation as 3x where uh, uh, where the asset asset will be of 300 percent of the original size mm -hmm. and for the iPhone it is 1x and iPhone is having something like uh, 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 on the incremental basis they've uh, they've increased uh, uh, the resolution of it also so for the first beginning iPhone had a 1x size and later iPhone 4 had 2x. Uh, and it continued like that and now the assets will be of 3x resolution uh, so you you will be you will get aware of this uh, once you start providing the assets to the developers so uh, so you just have a look at it or look at this uh, blog which i will be posting in the description below uh, so yeah we have opened uh, okay a photoshop file okay Okay, so this is a Photoshop file which I'll be uh, creating assets and specs. So this is a navigation system uh, which is like a simple a simple navigation where it is having icons, uh, icons and uh, uh, fonts and colors and stuff like that. So uh, to provide this uh, uh, to provide uh, this design to the developers, you need to create uh, explicit specs for this one. And what is the height of the things? What is the colors used? What are the fonts used? And all. Uh, so uh, let's let's get started with this. Uh, so for first and foremost, like what is uh, what is the size I've taken is 640 into 1136. So 640 into 1136 falls in iPhone 5. iPhone 5 has 2x resolution. So current resolution what I'm use what I've designed is 2x. So all the assets will be built in 2x format. So uh, you uh, from 2x you can uh, you can uh, uh, degrade it to 1x also you can upgrade it to uh, 3x also. So currently so it is in 2x. Um, so let's start with the creating uh, assets to this one. So I've already installed um, I've already installed PNG Express on my Photoshop uh, system on my on my system. Uh, this is an ex explicit plugin you can just drag and drop. You can just drag and drop the plugin, and uh, uh, if it, if you are using Mac, uh, if if you are using uh, Windows, it, it will be installed using Adobe Extension Manager. 
So let's see what what is there for us in PNG Express. So this is the PNG Express stuff uh, where you will be uh, you, you can create uh, assets here and uh, specs for specs in the same place. So first and foremost, we'll create assets. So let's uh, I'll show showcase you what is the procedure to create assets uh, in the easiest way here with using this. So this is uh, uh, first and foremost, we'll create all the uh, all, what all icons are there. We can we'll create. Uh, uh, assets are something which uh, which you need to give them uh, explicitly which cannot be coded so uh, in this which cannot be coded is all uh, icon iconographies uh, so we'll create uh, we'll create assets for this one so so you need to select a uh, uh, icon which of uh, which you need to expo export as an asset uh, I have already auto selected the layer uh, so when when I click on any of the icon, it will it will be it will be selected automatically to that one. So likewise, so I'll select a, a location icon. Okay. So you can see the map uh, map icon is selected. I'll just add a tag to that. You can enter the name saying as map or anything and uh, what is uh, what kind of asset you want to create PNG or JPEG or SVG. You just select PNG. I'll tag it. So it start it, it it start tagging to that one saying that PNG map. So for the same for the same layer. So likewise, I will be doing I will be doing uh, for uh, multiple uh, icons here. Add a tag. Uh, bubble two. I can just rename it as chat chat icon or uh, Anything which is related to the communities, yeah, that's fine. Chat would chat would work. So I'll add a tag there. This is a class category kind of thing. Okay. Add a tag. Say class. Make sure you uh, you add it. Uh, you add the tags properly uh, based on the selection here. Okay, I can't select that. It's a kind of widget. So here the naming convention is widget. I'll just say widget. Okay. And another one is setup or site. Okay, it is having a multiple things. So icon setup is there. So this is I'll tag this whole folder. Icon setup. Okay. And uh, we missed out this. Let's see. Double to select that. Okay. Icon database. Add a tag. If you have already grouped the uh, uh, group the layers, it would be easy for you to create icon. Uh, easy to create tagging for that one. So icon note, a ladder attack to that note. Okay, I think there was a mistake. Let's see. Okay, I'll just group it another one and add this group to this. I'll say note. Since it is uh, this note is having 25% of uh, opacity, now uh, if I make that one uh, into group, that 25% of opacity would be gone. So I I made uh, another uh, another upper level group level so that I can tag it easily and say note. Okay, now it's working fine. Okay, so we have uh, we have tagged all the all the icons uh, which is related to this. So let's start exporting this. Um, so you can next thing is uh, once you have once the tagging is complete for all the iconography, you can say uh, you can say export assets. 
Okay. Currently, uh, uh, since you can see here uh, the current resolution, what is the current resolution is 200%. Uh, means, yeah, uh, if you are using a 1x, 1x, uh, 1x for uh, iOS, you, you will be have you will have to say 100%. If you are using 2x, it will be 200%. If it is 3x, it will be 300%. So current resolution, what you have designed. Uh, what what is this design is as in the beginning I said it is de it is designed for iPhone 5 which is of 2x resolution so 2x resolution would come to 200% so I have made current resolution as 200% and uh, if you are uh, uh, see here the iOS and web export uh, like uh, normal standard is 1x is 100% and uh, uh, 2x is 200% and and, and iPhone 6 and 6 plus is 300 percent so I have selected for all the iOS elements and for Android you can select all the things whichever is uh, required this applies to same thing to Android also if you have for uh, if you have designed for MDPI uh, MDPI you, uh, you you have to select 100 percent in the current resolution if you have designed for uh, HDPI you have to you have to select 150 uh, percent so that's that's how it looks uh, so you can just select all all the all the things Android and the iOS. Uh, you will be okay. Yeah. So uh, export selected will only only export which has been selected. Uh, but if uh, you have already tagged all the all the assets in your ROM. Uh, uh, in your uh, PSD file, so you don't have to worry about uh, 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 which 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 gets uh, which gets exported and which not gets exported. So we'll export all the assets since you have tagged. Uh, if you have tagged all the all the elements, it is easy for to export all the assets at at, at one time. So let's uh, this will be like you can you can export this to whichever location you want. I'll start exporting all the as all the assets. So once you start that one, it starts slicing all the uh, all the layers and groups and uh, create uh, assets out of it. It's gonna take a while because uh, based on how many things you have tagged, uh, based on how many elements you want to export. So it's gonna take a while. And you don't have to worry about uh, uh, your uh, main PSD file because uh, it will be safe and it will uh, uh, it will take the elements from that one. But uh, uh, you don't have your uh, main PSD file won't be affected by this. So you'll get uh, export complete. It's done and the 63 files has been exported to this location. So I can show the folder. Thanks for the folder. So you can see here. Uh, it has it has exported uh, all the assets uh, uh, for iOS and web and Android also. So you can see here all the all the icons have been exported for uh, different resolutions. Is that cool? It's, it's so easy also. So that's for iOS. Uh, iOS has three elements like one is one x two x. See. So you can see you can see here this is uh, this is one x and there is two x and then three x. Likewise, for all the for all the icons, it is it will be created. So likewise, uh, for Android also, it will be create it will be named on uh, based on the HTPI, MTP, and double HTPI and all. So uh, to know more about uh, uh, the uh, the uh, MDPI and the uh, terminologies, you need to uh, you need to go to the uh, iOS and Android cheat sheets, design cheat sheets, uh, to to gain more knowledge on that one. Uh, for this, um, this is how it is it will be created. So, yeah, uh, you can directly provide uh, this the, this this to um, uh, the developers so they can uh, they can make use of whichever they're uh, they're designing for if they're designing for MDPI MDPI is the lowest resolution in Android and double X HDPI uh, is the highest resolution uh, which is like uh, maybe iPhone uh, Nexus 6 or something like that. Um, okay. So uh, we are done with uh, uh, assets creation. So let's uh, go go to uh, let's jump to uh, aspect creation for uh, for your design. So 
so we can make use of uh, PNG Express itself for creating specs also. So specs is where like um, you need to give explicitly what uh, what kind of uh, font you are using, what is the what is the height and width between each uh, each elements. So those kind of stuff you will be you will be uh, you need to give them to the developers so they can develop uh, as per the design you have designed. So let's get let's get started with that. So I'll be making use of a market tool, um, a rectangular market tool. Okay. So uh, the first and foremost, what is the thing is here is uh, what is the width between uh, to, uh, the end of the end of the screen and to to, to the profile pic. So this is the width you, you want to require. So you just have to you just have to uh, select what is the width there and just click on the uh, width here spec width only so you just say that one it start giving creating a specs for that you can see that one so you can see there i'll say control d uh, it's 30 pixels. So the the, uh, the width between the edge of the screen to the profile pic is uh, 30 pixels. So likewise, I will create uh, this uh, uh, space between the profile pic and the, uh, and the profile name. So I'll say width is again 23 pixels. Is that so easy? So here you will be creating specs from the width is here. Okay. Okay, 77 pixel. Now the height, we'll look into height. What is the height between this one and this? Okay. Height is this. Okay, 104 pixel. Likewise, you can, uh, you know, what is the height between this, this line and uh, the content here? Okay, 40, 47 pixels, or uh, you can give a uh, height between. Uh, it's 45 pixels. Usually, this this will be taken uh, since the content will be central line to this logo, this uh, uh, icon. So likewise, so next thing is the font. What is the font? So I'll just say. I'll just select this notes. So note has been selected here. Um, there is a there is a, a button called font or shape. You can just uh, once it once the uh, text box means what what layer you need to select for what text you need to give the font. You just select that one and just click on uh, font or shape button. So you can see that there's a font is uh, STX. This one and the, it is 32 pixels and it is of white uh, white color. They have given of hexadecimal and RGB color for that one. So likewise, you can now uh, uh, you excuse me, sorry for that. So so it uh, it has created a separate. Um, uh, it it is not adding anything in in, in your. Um, uh, main PSD file. It is creating a copy of it and uh, adding uh, adding the stuff to this. So uh, you don't have to worry about it. If you want, you can you can have a spec. So uh, you can you can save this specs. You can save this specs and uh, later part if you want to use it some other time, you can use it. Search and spec. Okay. Here you can see that it has been added uh, IOS 01 under, uh, uh, space specs. Our uh, um, original original uh, PSD file is having just IOS 01.psd. Here it has been added called specs. So you can make sure that what uh, which which PSD file you are adding specs and all. So I'll just uh, I'll just save this later part if you want to uh, you want to change any of the specs uh, before giving up to the developer. You can make, you can change that one. Um, I'll show you another one to uh, to add font. I've selected the font layer, uh, text layer, and I will I'll just say font or shape. It's just giving again. So uh, anything else? Okay. Uh, that's it for this today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or challenges. 
uh, in creating assets and specs. Uh, uh, please do subscribe. Thank you.